Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard and I came back down to Highland Park to pick up a piece of that bamboo because what I grabbed isn't going to grow. So I decided I'm just going to get me the root and all. So here it is. Here is the piece of bamboo that I have chosen to collect up. And I'm going to get this piece from the root and I am very close to falling into the creek and that's not going to be cool if I do but I'll take it if that's the only way I can get to it and there's another piece over there that I might be able to collect if I can scoot across so anyway as soon as I get positioned in a better situation I'll get back with you guys up so I got the, the piece of bamboo and now I'm just going to put uh, some dirt in this little bag and stick this in there and then try to climb back up that hill without falling. Okay, well I accomplished most of that. I got up without falling into the creek, but I did grab a hold of some stinging nettle. So now my hands are aching a little bit, but I'll take it. I have a Dollar Tree bucket here, and I am going to use my Dremel, and I am going to drill holes in the bottom. Just like that. There's the holes. Let's take this outside on the, uh, what is that thing? Patio. Patio, that's what it is. Let's take this thing out on the patio and let's continue our little project. We are now on the patio and I have this plastic Dollar Tree bucket with the holes in the bottom. I have a sock hat full of rocks that I've collected. I have two bags of potting soil I got from the Dollar Tree. This is also off of a piece of bamboo and I've done a, I showed you a video of that. I was kind of hoping that that would uh, spark the growth but it has not. And then this right here is the piece of bamboo that I went and dug up yesterday or the day before. I don't really remember. But we're going to plant that today. And then I have the mullein which is sitting right back there. You can see the mullein here. I've got that piece of mullein that's sitting back there, which has nothing to do with this video, but that's just where it's at. Okay, so first things are first. I'm gonna take these rocks, and I have not washed them or cleaned them in any way. And we're gonna go ahead and dump those in the bottom of the bucket. This is gonna create a stability uh, for the bucket so that it doesn't get blown around it's not too light and also it's going to create some good drainage for uh, for this soil because bamboo definitely this bamboo is definitely going to need some good drainage because uh, I found it on the side of a creek bed All right, using my garden line saw I chopped it all I chopped a piece of it off right to here because of two reasons. One, I've got an idea for that piece. But I wanted to make sure, so it's at 21 inches. I wanted to make sure that it's got room to, to grow. And I cut it off just atop one of these nodes so that I wouldn't affect that node right there. So I'm hoping that this part will grow as well as this part here. And I think I'm gonna saw off a small piece here just to, there we go, just to encourage growth. And we'll see how that works. So, little small piece off of that, and then that right there. Like I said, this is about 21 inches. So, I will be able to measure and find out how well this thing is growing. And I will take it out of its bag and here is the root system of that piece of grass, this bamboo. That's a pretty decent root system right there. All right. Yeah, that's actually too big for the pot. So I'm going to trim off this roots a tad bit just to get them small enough to fit in this pot. So I have a pair of garden snips that uh, my wife got at the Dollar Tree. And I am just going to take 
this root system here and just cut some of this away now I'm hoping that I will be able to woo, keep my hands onto the snips and not drop them maybe I can use these roots for another project maybe so anyway there we go so that root system has been cut back a little bit it should grow just fine so what I'm gonna do is since the rocks are still in there I'm gonna take the dirt that I got from the crib and go ahead and insert that in the bottom here just mush this around a little bit and hey look there's a worm a little worm right there so we're gonna keep him in there straight from the crick area that's gonna sit there then I'll sit my bamboo right in here like this and I'm gonna get some potting soil Open this bag up here. And sit down. Nice dark potting soil, and I'm going to dump that in this bucket as well. Just like so. Wonderful. Just like that. Grab my second bag of potting soil. Put a little hole in there. There we go. And let's add some more of that. Well, well looks like it's going to take both of them. Well, there we go. I'm making a mess, but guess what? I don't care. Just like that. Now, I'm going to get me some water, and then I'm going to water this down. I'll get right back with you guys. And there we are. I have the, uh, the bamboo set in there, and now I'm going to do just mud this up really good and the water will seep down to the bottom and then seep out the holes and go through the rocks and out the holes now that I have it completely in ground Oops. My wife's in there doing uh, YouTube videos as well, and we, we're, we're interfering with each other. But anyway, now that I have it completely in ground here, I'm going to measure this. And it's about right there, 19 and a half inches. I'm going to say that's about 19 and a half inches. So when it starts growing, uh, I'll be able to tell. So that's 19 and a half inches, and this here is three and a half. So from dirt level to this piece is 19 and a half, and then this extra growth here, let I say three and a half, three and a half inches. So we'll be able to measure this and keep track of it, and it'll be fantastic to be able to see it growing. I'm pretty excited about this project. So there we have it. There's my uh, little project of uh, hopefully getting some bamboo to start growing. 